one more detail for the storytelling and I think we're done. Hey everyone, in this video we'll paint an image from sketch to final, you'll see how to color and render it, also we'll break down what I think is the most important step when you start a painting, the composition planning stage. I will talk about some ideas and principles I used, so stay tuned till the end to see how the final painting turned out. My name is Victor, I'm a professional concept artist and I really hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing, also don't hesitate to ask any questions about the process. Alright, let's start! I prefer to start the painting with a simple sketch, really quick, nothing fancy. I'm indicating the horizon line and the main elements. So at this stage you should be thinking what you want to illustrate and how to arrange it in a nice and appealing way. I wanted to create a feeling of adventure, so that's why I'm having the character looking forward towards her destination, which are those ruins over there in the background, and I also thought it would be cool if she would have a huge dog as a pet or a wolf. Alright, let's talk really quick about decomposition. Now we're having two focal points here, the character and the ruins. Might be a good idea for the viewer's eyes to go from the first one to the second. Uh, there's also a strong line created by the dog and the birds, and another strong line created by the sword from the character, which leads the eye towards the clouds, and I think I will shape those clouds in a way that there will be some implied lines towards those ruins somehow. All right, let's block out the planes and see if the image is readable enough. Also guys, don't forget there is a link with a free brush pack in the description, so you guys can download those brushes, play with them, experiment, and let me know if it was helpful. I'm also thinking how to plan the light here. In this case I decided to place the light upper left so that I can have a light shape against the character. This way it will be more readable. Alright, now that you've done that and you know what you want to achieve, you can start putting down some color. I really want to have a nice graphic look to the painting and I'm using the composition as a guide. I'm also checking all the time to see if the image is readable at any stages. For the colors I was mainly selecting various types of greens, a warmer, colder, and for the background I think I added a bit more blue. Now I'm painting the water really quick. Alright, so for the character you might have the same approach as for the whole painting, right? Once you have the sketch, once you have the composition, you're just going in, putting in the flat color and then indicate the areas in shadow and, you know, step by step you're describing the forms as well. Here I'm adjusting the pose a bit.
right now I'm putting down some color for the dog. Also, this pose is work in progress. I realized later on that it was a little bit off. So whenever you're struggling with something like this, whenever you don't know something can happen, uh, go, always go back to your references. Okay, now I'm defining the forms for the ruins, also the areas around them. Alright, as you can see, I am jumping all over the image and adding details. I'm trying to avoid overworking any area. Alright, final touches for the character and I think we can call it done. So this is the final image, I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please consider subscribing and sharing for more videos like this. Also ask any questions about the process in the comments. 
Thanks again for joining in and I hope to see you in the next video. Coming soon.